Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. You see, over the last couple of days, I've been exploring Optifine, which is a um, sort of a mod sort of thing for Minecraft, and it has a lot of uses. For example, um, you can do zoom, there's also ambient lighting, which means that if you have a torch in your hand and you're in the cave, it'll light up the cave. But um, one of the things that I've been enjoying most is actually shaders, which I'm going to show you now. Now, um, what shaders are is that they basically just add a sort of depth and sort of a, um, I don't know how to put it, well, they add shadows and stuff, as I'll show you, and um, realistic lighting. So, um, here, I'll sh show you what I mean. It's, um, does take a little bit for it to um, load properly, but um, yeah. See, it um, adds shadows and stuff relevant to wherever the um, sun is and things, and it can make a, it definitely makes the world feel more realistic and stuff. So basically, while playing with shaders and stuff, I thought, um, does the um could you use it to tell the time? Like, well, to be more precise, can you build a sundial and will it work? So that's what I think I'm going to be doing today. Um, I'm not going to do any, like, amazing, grand or especially complicated sundial. It's going to be very simple, but um, I'll probably get into that and I'll start on that pretty soon. Like whenever I go up to it, sometimes these recordings happen um, quite a time apart. But anyway, I'll probably do that in a time lapse, so I'll see you afterwards. Well, I've finished building the sundial. Like I said, it's nothing pretty. It's just a big round circle with a um, golden thing. But um, I kind of realized the sun comes up that way and goes down that way. I built the dial thing the wrong way around. Um, so I'll probably try and fix that now. now. I don't really know how it's meant to be built, but I presume it's meant to be... Um, wait a second. If it's... Uh, I have no idea. But I'm... Actually, it could be meant to go this way. But... No, no, I, no, it wouldn't. It would go the other way. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm kind of dumb. But um, I'm pretty sure it goes the other way. So I'll probably re rebuild it now. Well, I um, rebuilt it. And this time I decided to just do it diagonally because I think that will be how it works. So it's about time we um, check to see whether it worked. Now I've frozen the game's time and I've also sent it, set it to about 10 or something. I don't know. Game time is a bit hard. I didn't really do any research or anything for this video. So I'll just set the shaders on, which is unfortunately a bit laggy because I don't know if I've said this before, but my computer isn't really a computer, it's a laptop, so it's very slow. But um, there we go. Hopefully the, um, it won't stay all this weird. But um, as you can see, the uh, shadows are working. And this seems to be the... Um, well, I don't know if I needed to make it this big. But this seems to be the point where it's at at day. Um, or is it? This seems to be the point where it's at at day. No, that's the. Um, I got confused by the shadow of the block. That is day. And then let me see. If I set the time, I set the time to noon. And yep, the shadow has definitely changed positions. 
to here. And this is what it is at noon. It lands on there at noon. So um, if I then say add set time to 12, this is um, afternoon, late afternoon. Then the block is all the way over here. So it definitely works. And you could definitely use it as a um, or as a clock, definitely. So I'm guessing you'd only need to use half of it. Now, if you wanted to make something like this in survival, it wouldn't actually be hard. So you could have your own giant sundial to keep track of the day, and you can plot what time is when. Some, um, I know this was a shorter video, and it's nothing that exciting, but. Uh, Thank you for watching, I guess, and bye.